So I teach at Luther Seminary in St. Paul, Minnesota. It's a seminary of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. I've been there for about six years. I teach in the New Testament, so I a lot of intro classes in, in New Testament and Greek as well. Um, I think a lot about how race and ethnicity function as theological categories, both in antiquity and then for us today as well. So I was born in Puerto Rico. And I lived there until I was about nine years old, and then we moved a lot growing up to a couple different places in the U.S. Um, in Puerto Rico, I grew up speaking Spanish at home. So when I went to kindergarten, I went to a school, however, that was all in English. It was the, inside a military base, uh, an American military base. So all the children there were the children of American soldiers who happened to be stationed in Puerto Rico. My, um, my grandfather on my dad's side, my dad's dad, uh, was a Baptist minister. I always like to say he was an accidental Baptist minister. He had served in World War II, knew how to speak English, and there was a missionary that came from Tennessee, a Baptist missionary, who needed someone to translate for him. And my grandfather was the right man at the right place, translated for the missionary, and they founded a church, uh, a church that my grandfather was the minister of, uh, really for the rest of his life. Uh, on my mom's side, it was, a, it was a devoutly Catholic family. I grew up on my mom's side of the family seeing statues of the Virgin Mary, rosaries of my, grandfa uh, my grandparents blessing me all the time in, in that tradition. So it was on both side of the, sides of the family, really shaped uh, by these religious ideas. And I grew up in, in, in Baptist churches as well, really shaped by um, this love for Jesus, this love of Scripture uh, in many different ways. Yes. As I reflect back, on that time, I think there was this sense of, uh, of ritual, of the way that God permeates everyday life. So those statues and those rosaries were a reminder of God's presence everywhere we went. There were these tangible things that you could touch, that you could feel, that you could see, that reminded you that God was there. So that was one way that was really formative for me. When I was 16 years old, I was at, um, at this summer youth camp, um, and I felt this this, this, this call to ministry. I, I, it was a culmination of many years of, of discernment. And of course, I'm 16, so I don't know what I'm doing yet. It was this, this sense in which God had been leading me down a particular path. Um, what was interesting to me is that at that moment, my imagination about what that call might look like was very particular. Um, so when I went to college, I didn't know places like seminaries existed. I just didn't know they were out there. I didn't know doctoral programs existed. So I thought you went to college, you got a church, you got a job, and you did a lifetime of ministry. So going to college and seeing that there were places called seminaries where I could continue my education and then places called doctoral programs where I could even go deeper into the study of, of these subjects um, gave me a wider imagination for what that call at 16 would mean for me um, in, my own, in my own kind of adult life and my vocation as a teacher. So. At certain points, there was a suspicion of education and what it might do to you in some of the churches I was a part of, that um, education could be threatening, it could take you away from this particular path. Um, but for me, I always loved learning. Um, when I was younger, when I was first learning English, my nose was always in a book. I was reading fiction. When we went to the mall, my parents would always buy me a book and I would just plow through that. I think there was this yearning for seeing more language, for understanding language, for wondering how people uh, see the world differently through their, through their writing and through their reading. So I think there was this tension there as well. Um, but I remember picking up some theology books later on in high school and thinking, wow, there's, there's a way for me to take this stuff I've been doing at school, in public schools, and apply it to this faith that has so deeply shaped me. So that was a big shift for me, is it was bringing those two worlds together in seminary, in college, and my doctoral program did that for me, bringing those two worlds together.